video lecture series on the development of digestive system. Today uh, we will discuss about the development of midgut. Development of midgut. Midgut start developing from the fifth week in the embryo. Uh, in the embryo, it start develop fr uh, from the end part of foregut, which is the liver bud, and it ends in the transverse colon in the two third. The blood supply to the midgut is through the superior mesenteric artery. We will discuss our development of midgut in steps. Our first step is the formation of primary intestinal loop. Primary intestinal loop. Uh, start develop after the rapid elongation of our gut. After the elongation of our gut, the primary loop form. Due to this formation of primary loop, our space in the abdominal cavity becomes short. That's why uh, it starts to go into the extra embryonic cavity. Our primary intestinal loop have three different regions. Uh, one is apex, second is our cephalic, and third is our caudal region. From these three different regions, different uh, organs develop. We will discuss further. Regions of the primary intestinal loop. First region is apex. Second region is cephalic region. And our third region is the caudal region. The apex uh, stays with the open connection with the yolk sac. Cephalic region develops into the distal part of duodenum. Duodenum and the, uh, some part of ileum. Now we will come on to caudal region. The caudal regions develop into the lower portion of ileum, uh, cecum, appendix, ascending colon, and the uh, two third of the transverse colon. We have three steps. First one was the primary intestinal loop formation. The second step was the physiological herniation. Now our third step is the rotation. Every, in every embryology, the rotation is very important. The rotation is responsible for the positioning. In the mid-gut, the rotation is uh, counterclockwise and the total rotation in mid-gut is 270 degrees. Before we discuss in the stomach, the stomach rotates in the 90 degrees. When uh, this rotation occurs in the counterclockwise, it rotates around the axis of uh, our uh, superior mesenteric artery then during the time of herniation its rotation is only 90 degrees while when we, when it will return from the extra embryonic cavity to back to the abdominal cavity rotation will be 180 degrees why the uh, primary intestinal loop will uh, come back to the our abdominal cavity because the liver uh, liver growth decreases Secondly, the mesonephric uh, nephrons of the kidney are regress. And third reason is the abdominal wall extends. Our next step is uh, retraction of intestinal loops. The retraction starts uh, when the part uh, from the extra embryonic cavity, the organs start come back to the uh, abdominal cavity and settle down. The first part that comes from the extra embryonic cavity uh, to the abdominal cavity is our jejunum, the proximal part of jejunum, which lies on the left side during the retraction. If we talk about the sickle bud, basically sickle bud is from the cephalic portion of the intestinal loop. In the during first six weeks, its position is uh, on the right upper coordinate just below the right lobe of the uh, liver. After the retraction, the positioning of the tickle bud, it descends to the right iliac fossa. Now we will quickly recap our today's discussion, the steps of development of midgut. Uh, before that, the midgut start develops at the fifth week, fifth week and the blood supply to the midgut is through the superior mesenteric artery and it starts from the liver bed till the uh, transverse colon, two thirds of the transverse colon. Our first step is the appearance of the primary intestinal loop. The primary intestinal loop have three regions. First is apex, second is cephalic, and third is caudal. From the apex, it has the open connection to the yolk sac, and cephalic 
we have uh, development of jejunum proximal part of jejunum and the some part of ilium in the caudal end from the caudal end the development of uh, rest of the ilium appendix and the transverse collar two third transverse collar our second step is the physiological herniation physiological herniation is the movement of the primary intestinal loop from the abdominal cavity to the embryonic extraembryonic cavity due to the shortage of space our next step is the uh, rotation rotation in this mid gut is uh, 270 degrees counter clockwise during the physiological herniation rotation is 90 degrees when the organs come back to the abdominal cavity the rotation is 180 degrees retraction of the intestinal loop the retraction of intestinal loop uh, the organ came back from the extra embryonic cavity to the abdominal cavity our first organ that come from uh, extra embryonic cavity to the abdominal cavity is the uh, proximal part of jejunum that lies on the left side our next step is retraction in the retraction the uh, organ moves back to the abdominal cavity if we talk about the first organ that come from extra embryonic to the abdominal cavity is the proximal part of jejunum they just lies below uh, just lies on the left side and if we talk about the sickle bud during the six week of development the sickle bud lies on the upper uh, right quadrant of the right lobe of the liver then after uh, retraction uh, it settles down in the uh, right iliac fossa our last step is the mesentery formation basically mesentery is for the support of the mid gut it connects the mid gut to the uh, abdominal walls thank you guys for watching this video in next video we will discuss about the development of hind gut